This is a particularly exciting time in cancer research. The field of cancer research has undergone two major revolutions in the past decade. The first is in cancer genetics. The second is in cancer immunology. As we've gained an appreciation for the role of the immune system in keeping tumors in check, now we have to consider the effect of metabolic interventions on both the cancer cells and the immune system. Sulk is a hotbed for metabolic research in cancer. Over the past 10 years, we have really recruited in people with very deep expertise in complementary areas of metabolic research. When Jonas Salk first set up this institute, he recruited uh, preeminent scientists working in cancer research right from the beginning. And it is really on their shoulders of these giants and luminaries that helped discover the bases of different forms of cancer that we now find ourselves some 50 years later uh, in a much more precise way able to diagnose and treat cancer. The technology that we have is enabling us to characterize the molecular changes that occur in tumors at unprecedented scales. We can track how single atoms in the nutrients we eat are used by tumor cells, are used by immune cells in this battle over the health of our tissues and bodies. Understanding this metabolic crosstalk between the immune cells and the tumor cells and how they're competing for nutrients or even how the immune cells can be co-opted to provide nutrients to the tumor cells to allow them to get the right food and nutrient sources that they need. These types of associations, these types of relationships between the immune cells and the tumor cells are happening within the tumor microenvironment. My lab is focused on specific genetic alterations and how they control the metabolic pathways the actual rewiring of some of the enzymes and the way the cells use and utilize and store lipids and how they use and store glucose. The lipidomics technology that we've developed here and allow us to characterize the fatty molecules in tumors that are elevated or depleted, which provide additional insights into how the cancer cell is executing signaling processes and, and other metabolic pathways to grow and survive. There are untapped potential for many different targets to find the vulnerabilities in what the tumor cells require, which metabolic pathways they're requiring and dependent on. But simultaneously, the sweet spot is gonna be, can we find those metabolic pathways that if we interfere with them in the tumor cell, it will suppress the tumor cell's growth but will it also then lead to an augmentation of how the immune cells function in that environment. So can we find pathways that will cripple the tumor cell but actually enhance and, and stimulate the immune response? And that's what we're actually finding today. One of the things that I love about now being at the Salk Institute, being able to work with such great scientists and collaborators that bring different expertise to the table for these these projects which require teams to be successful. With this team, we are now able to comprehensively map and study the metabolism within different forms of cancer, such as lung cancer, which is a major expertise that we have. We really think this is a momentous occasion in cancer research and specifically in cancer metabolism research. This is the time for conquering cancer and for conquering cancer at the Salk Institute.